to the day. Yes, we are back at uh, Holly Oaks for a uh, Yamaha demo ride. Uh, we're out here to check out the new R Max. Uh, they were supposed to have the R Max 2 and the R Max 4 here, but somehow the 4s didn't make it. So we're going to check out two of the two seaters. We've got Hammer with us, we got Greg on the filmmaking, and uh, our buddy Luke's with us uh, that you've seen out at Holly Oaks with us in the past. So it should be a good time. Um, uh, it should be interesting. They're supposed to take us on a nice like half hour to 45 minute rip around here. Hopefully we can get back to Mini Moab and check that out. Oh, they do look kind of cool. So here we go, yeah. Gregory. We got all oh, this going on. Oh, yeah. Did they got the, they got the screens on? Yes, those are the ones that got the screens. Oh yeah, those are right to, not right to man, but the, oh my gosh, yeah, come the rock that. sliders, all that stuff. Yeah, their navigation system. Yeah. Nice. And I wonder if they've got the active shocks. Nope, they've got the three ways on them. QS3s. No, you can see they've got the three ways on them. What's up, guys? <laughs> uh, where do we park for this? Oh, right. Just anywhere? Okay. No, she's from the park. I'm just telling you. Uh, so yeah, um, we're gonna meet up with our buddy Luke here, and uh, we'll catch you um, for some close-ups. We got a half hour before ride time to uh, do a little orientation and all that stuff. So, uh, Explain some stuff. You yeah. can tell him that too. So we'll catch you in a minute. All right, guys. So uh, unfortunately, this ride was a kind of a low-key one. They didn't allow filming on this one, so uh, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it. We'll do a little discussion here, and then when we get back to the house, we'll give some uh, opinions on it. Uh, not a bad machine. Um, I guess, what do you guys have to think about it? Got any off the top of your off the head comments? Uh, first of all, I noticed the clutching is good. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Smoother than most everything else I've driven. Turning radius is really good. Yeah. Uh, which I don't, most people don't care about that. Uh, uh, the carnivores, of course, you know, we like the carnivores. Uh, power steering. Flawless. It's really soft. Yeah. Really soft. The shifting. One thing, the biggest thing I noticed right away, the shifting was smooth. Yeah, I almost you wonder were if jamming. it's electronic, if, huh? if it shifted electronically, because it's soft. I mean, you can literally... It, you can do it with two fingers. Thing. You can do it with two fingers. It's like butter. Yeah. And these have the, the, the uh, navigation and everything in them. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Come on in here a little bit. But I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is really handy. This is basically just a, a regular Magellan uh, handheld uh, thing that you can take out, put it inside. Oh, yeah, For us okay. Michigan people, uh, you can put a memory card in there, get your VV mapping and all kinds of stuff in there, and do it right inside the house. So that's awesome. Had a nice navigation. Oh, then it had like simple things on there, like uh, battery, voltage, uh, engine temp, what gear you are in, and what mode you are in. So oh, not too bad. Maybe they'll add some stuff in the future. But when um, you take the dial, what I noticed when you were going from sport to crawl. Oh yeah. When yeah. you get sport, as soon as you give a guess, it just wants to go. Crawl. Yeah, it definitely changes the, the throttle changes table the completely. Yeah. So uh, sport, if you want to get you know one for one or a hundred percent to what you get the throttle, is great. Trail softened it big time. So if you're over the bumpy stuff like in St. Helen, it'll ease it out really nice. Uh, crawl. I, I, the only thing I can say, I think crawl is like an in-between between sport and trail because trail seemed really lazy. Crawl seemed in-between and sport was almost a little jumpy, but you know, it's fun if you're ripping a We didn't get a chance to go super fast out here today, but here's what it is. Their it seats are comfortable. Oh, seats are comfortable. Seats, seats are very comfortable. And they're stitched. Yeah, pretty they're well stitched. made. I mean, they go way up. Most seats, you don't get the height of the back. I mean, you got it all the way up to your head. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. It's molded around you, like for your hips and your or your ribs and all that. And they've done a full door. I I wish they would have eliminated this um, and well, just put the full. Oh, no, well, no, but they should. The door should be up here and eliminate this thing here. That hits I mean, every time you get a hit in and out. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a pain. And a Yamaha door handle for anything with a door in it like this, it just makes it feel more like a car. Yep. Um, so a door handle out here would be nice. Um, Other than that, I think you guys knocked it out of the park for for a great uh, died, crossover vehicle. Yeah, it died. I all right, so overall, guys, I think it's a it's a great crossover vehicle for people who you really can't trail ride with a utility car, like say a Defender. 
or maybe a general with just the stock shocks on it. They went ahead and put the Fox shocks on it, the QS3s. You can even get the uh, the Just adjustable on the fly QMS shocks or IQMS. IQ. And uh, so that would be even more uh, trail friendly. So if you're looking for something, you can go do things around your house. It's got a Reese hitch receiver on the back so you can throw a trailer on. It's got, uh, the, it's got the 2,000 pound ploy capacity, which is the same as a Defender. So if you're looking for something that you can do stuff around the house, plow some snow, dump and then, bed. Yeah, dump bed, and then still go yeah. trail riding with it on the weekends, I think yeah. it's a great machine. I wish we could have got our hands on the four seater, but the four seater is still in production. They're going to drop them off later on this trip, but uh, we'll get you one down the road. Close is nice. Open is nice. Okay, it's got the hydraulic assist for you. 2,000 pound towing capacity, 600, 600 pounds in the bed. 14 and 16 inch of travel, I believe. And 10 year belt life uh, warranty on it. 10 year, that's, so that's we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. They're clutching, I'm not sure. If they didn't explain it too well, but yeah, we're going to have to dig into that. Uh, it seemed in interesting. I want to look into what's going on there because they've done something very unique from other side by sides. So overall, I, I think we're relatively happy. I think they did a great job for the market that they're trying to hit. Uh, the next big thing we'd like to see out of you guys is some updates to that YXE. Uh, we've been in the old one. We've done a lot of riding in it. It was a great thing. But uh, we're excited to see what you guys have in store for us down the road. So uh, we want to say thank you to Yamaha for having us thank out. You. It was uh, it was very generous to you guys. I mean, it was a great demo ride. If anybody's interested in this, check out their Facebook or their website. They got demo rides coming up all over the the U.S. Uh, and yeah, they, they take it for a pretty stellar ride. Kind of shows the machine's capability. So once again, thanks Yamaha, and we hope to do some stuff with you guys in the future and uh, see what you guys got coming. So thanks for riding with us, guys. We'll see you on the trail.